Santorini, one of Greece's most iconic and picturesque islands, is trembling. In the past few weeks, thousands of earthquakes have rattled the island. Scientists and residents alike are on edge, wondering, is Santorini on the brink of a catastrophic disaster? The last time Santorini made history, it was nearly 3,600 years ago with one of the largest volcanic eruptions ever recorded. That explosion reshaped the island and may have even contributed to the fall of the Minoan civilization. Seismologists warned that the recent swarm of tremors could mean one of three things, a temporary seismic episode, a massive earthquake in the making, or even the early stirrings of volcanic activity. The island's geological past holds chilling clues about what might come next. So, is Santorini on the verge of a devastating earthquake or volcanic eruption? Or will the Earth settle back into silence? Let's uncover the science, history, and terrifying possibilities behind this earthquake swarm. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Santorini is located in one of the most geologically active regions in the world, the Hellenic Arc a tectonic boundary shaped by the slow but relentless movement of the Earth's plates. The Hellenic Arc is a curved tectonic boundary that stretches across southern Greece, from the Ionian Islands in the west to Crete and the Dodecanese in the east. Santorini sits at the center of this volatile zone. The Hellenic Arc is part of the broader Mediterranean subduction zone, where the denser African plate is slowly sinking beneath the lighter Eurasian plate at a rate of approximately 4 to 5 centimeters per year. The interaction between these plates not only generates frequent seismic activity, but also fuels the magma chambers beneath the island, making it one of the most dangerous geological hotspots in the Mediterranean. The recent earthquake swarm near Santorini has been linked to movement along the Anidros Fault, a major tectonic structure running between Santorini and the nearby island of Amorgos. This fault system has a history of producing strong earthquakes, including the devastating 1956 Amorgos earthquake, which registered at magnitude 7.7 and triggered a destructive tsunami. The 2025 earthquake swarm suggests that stress is accumulating along the fault again, raising concerns that a large rupture could be imminent. Earthquake swarms in subduction zones like this often indicate the gradual release of stress, but they can also precede much larger seismic events. Scientists currently believe that the recent earthquake swarm is primarily tectonic in origin rather than volcanic. However, the tectonic stress caused by plate subduction can influence volcanic systems, potentially leading to magma movement beneath the surface. A stark reminder that Santorini's seismic and volcanic systems are closely linked. Santorini's geological history is defined by both massive volcanic eruptions and devastating earthquakes. Understanding these past events is crucial to assessing the current risk. One of the most famous events in Santorini's history is the Minoan eruption, which was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in recorded history. This event not only reshaped the island's geography, forming the caldera we see today, but also generated massive tsunamis that impacted Crete and contributed to the decline of the Minoan civilization. While there is no indication that a similar event is imminent, the presence of magma chambers beneath Santorini remains a cause for concern. One of the most significant earthquakes in modern Greek history occurred near Santorini in 1956. The magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake, centered near Amorgos, caused extensive damage in the Cyclades, killing 53 people and generating a tsunami that further devastated the region. Given that the current swarm is occurring near the same fault, scientists are monitoring for any signs that the region might experience a similar major quake. Between 2011 and 2012, increased seismic activity and ground deformation were detected in Santorini raising fears of an impending volcanic eruption. However, this period of unrest subsided without a major event. Still, it served as a reminder that Santorini remains geologically active and that both seismic and volcanic hazards must be taken seriously. Since January 31, 2025, hundreds of undersea earthquakes have been recorded in Santorini. It began gradually with numerous, very minor, 
less than magnitude 3 and mostly imperceptible earthquakes. However, the seismic activity intensified as the quakes became larger and more frequent. So far, several thousand quakes have been recorded in the last few weeks. As many as 30 a day have been above magnitude 4.0, most of them at less than 10 kilometers depth, which is large and shallow enough to be felt by people living on local islands. These larger earthquakes have resulted in rock falls along the island's coastal cliffs, as well as minor damage to vulnerable buildings. The largest earthquake so far was magnitude 5.2 on February 5th, which was also felt in the capital city Athens, as well as in Crete and in parts of Turkey more than 240 kilometers away. This surge in seismic events has led the Greek government to declare a state of emergency on the island. In response to the ongoing seismic events, authorities have implemented several precautionary measures. Schools have been closed, emergency services have been mobilized, and residents have been advised to avoid certain areas due to the risk of landslides. Additionally, over 11,000 people have evacuated the island as a precautionary measure. Seismologists are closely monitoring the situation, but have indicated that it's challenging to predict the duration or potential escalation of this seismic activity. The region's complex tectonic setting means that such earthquake swarms can continue for days, weeks, or even months. Seismologists are currently assessing whether the recent swarm is a precursor to a larger earthquake. There are three possible scenarios. In many cases, earthquake swarms eventually decrease in frequency and stop without triggering a large seismic event. This is the most hopeful scenario, and it is still a strong possibility. If the stress accumulation along the Anidros Fault exceeds a critical threshold, it could lead to a magnitude 6 to 7 earthquake. This would cause severe shaking in Santorini and nearby islands, potentially leading to damage to buildings, landslides, and tsunamis. Although experts believe the recent tremors are primarily tectonic, Santorini's history of volcanism means that an increase in seismic activity could potentially trigger magma movement. If magma rises toward the surface, it could lead to an eruption similar to the 1866 to 1870 eruption, which was relatively small, but still had a significant impact on the region. While predicting earthquakes remains difficult, the presence of a sustained swarm in a seismically active region raises legitimate concerns. If a major earthquake were to strike Santorini, the consequences could be severe affecting not just the island, but also neighboring regions in the Aegean Sea. Given Santorini's unique geography, steep cliffs, a volcanic caldera, and densely built settlements, there are several risks that could turn an earthquake into a full-scale disaster. Santorini's iconic whitewashed houses and blue-domed churches are not just beautiful, they're also fragile. Many of these buildings were constructed centuries ago, long before modern seismic building codes. Many of Santorini's older buildings are made of stone and cement with limited reinforcement. A powerful earthquake, especially one exceeding magnitude 6.5, could cause widespread structural failures. Santorini is also one of the top tourist destinations in the world, attracting over 2 million visitors per year. The tourism industry is the backbone of Santorini's economy, and many luxury hotels are built into the steep cliffs. A strong quake could cause rock slides, damaging or completely destroying these structures. Santorini's main port, Athenios, is built at the base of steep volcanic cliffs. A strong earthquake could damage ferry docks, cutting off vital transportation links. A worst-case scenario would involve partial collapse of buildings along the caldera's edge, leading to casualties and displacing thousands of residents and tourists. If a major underwater earthquake occurs, it could generate a tsunami capable of hitting Santorini and nearby islands within minutes. Low-lying areas such as Kamari, Parisa, and parts of the Athenios port could be flooded. If an earthquake triggered submarine landslides, these could also generate tsunamis. Unlike larger coastal cities with established tsunami evacuation plants, Santorini's steep terrain means there are few places to escape quickly in the event of a tsunami. 
While the risk of a Minoan-style mega-tsunami is low, a localized tsunami from an undersea quake is a real possibility. Santorini's breathtaking beauty masks a dangerous reality. It is a ticking geological time bomb. Whether the current earthquake swarm leads to a major event or fades away, the island remains vulnerable to tectonic shocks, tsunamis, landslides, and even volcanic activity. While it is uncertain whether a big one is imminent, the risk of a major earthquake cannot be ignored. Given Santorini's history of both large seismic events and volcanic eruptions, continuous monitoring and preparedness are essential. Whether the current seismic activity fades or escalates into a significant event, it serves as a powerful reminder that nature is unpredictable, and we must remain vigilant in the face of its forces.